Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker here. It is Thursday, January 24th, 2019. And what you see here is a package that I got in from eBay. I'm doing an unboxing for a large metal object, uh, unlike the little silver coins I usually buy. But if you read the title, it's probably not a surprise. What the surprise will be is number one, what vintage Griswold did I buy? Number two, what condition is it in? And number three, was it worth, worth the price I paid? So without further ado, I'll go ahead and get right into it with my trusty uh, Lady Liberty Stacker knife uh, gifted to me by Laura Blade. I love this thing. It's so sharp. So uh, at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, it's hard doing it. <laughs> Halfway across there. <laughs> Still fighting this cough I've got. But what happened here was I had been looking for this particular size Griswold for probably the past year. I go to garage sales. They're never at garage sales. They're never at thrift stores. They're at antique stores or antique malls, but they're always pricey, but not this particular Griswold. Now, I did see one or a couple. One was not in good condition. The other one was in good condition at an antique mall, not far from where I live, but it was way overpriced. So I kept waiting for the price to come down every time I'd go in and it's, it's, I, I would see it still sitting there. And, you know, after about maybe five or six months of stock in this place, uh, I went in one day and it was gone. So somebody bought it or somebody, you know, took it, whatever. So at any rate, I decided to go ahead and bid on one on eBay. And I've been watching auctions. Sometimes you can get away with getting something pretty reasonable on an auction. And so, and oh good, nice bubble wrap she used. And some more of uh, these air pillows, that's kind of nice. So I'll save that for future uh, uh, unboxing. So this is the skillet. The only problem with the box wasn't quite big enough because there is a hole here, and the handle was sticking out of it. And I got this from eBay, and they used an Amazon Prime box, which I don't know if you're allowed to do that. Um, I've kind of questioned that myself when using that to send it out. But, yeah, this is the skillet. Now, I got this. There's only two pictures, and I normally wouldn't even bother with two pictures, but I'm not looking for something that's pristine. I'm looking for something in good condition, that I can restore myself. Strip, sand down if I need to, any rough spots, and remove all the rust and season it the way I like. So she kind of wrapped it here in bubble wrap. And not bad. Let's see. This is a vintage Griswold. And actually, actually, it's in pretty good shape. It is. A large logo, 701, cast iron skillet number 7. The number 7 is more rare. Boy, is it cold. It was sitting uh, outside in the garage before I was able to bring it in. But uh, it, I don't know if it's going to spin a lot. I hate to, it's kind of grimy here. So let's take a look at it over here. And let me move the box back. And we take a look at it and we give it the ring test. rings there's no cracks and it seems to be very flat on the inside and I've cooked with ones with warps before I mean a slight wobble doesn't have much and eh, it's hard to tell your table has to be level it has a slight wobble but I don't know of any skillet that's perfectly flat honestly and I've seen an awful lot of skillets in my day and there's no cracks and there's not too much rust there's not too much crud I'm probably going to be able to soak this in vinegar for a day or so. And, I'll, of course, I'll keep a close eye on it before I re-season it. But this is an excellent shape. So I'm going to pause it for just a second and see if we can spin it. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is We can have a closer look under the uh, lights on this. It is in very good condition. There's no pitting. Just It needs a good cleaning is what is there. There's a little bit of rust, not a lot of rust. Um, but yeah, I mean a little bit, a little bit there, but you know, it'll come off, you know, when I soak it in vinegar 
and that's the back side again. It's a large logo, Griswold, made in 30, 1930s or 40s. And I'll go ahead and put it down there. It does spin a little bit when you push the handle. Um, I don't know if it will after I uh, smooth it out a little bit, but you know, it's okay. And I paid $42 plus shipping and the shipping was priority. So it was about nine bucks or so. So it, it came to about 53, which isn't bad for a skillet like this because the skillet that, that they were showing at the antique mall, they wanted $65 for it. And it was about the same condition as this, but um, it should be a fine cooker. And it's going to look really good. It does have a, a little bit of a wobble, not much, but again, um, you know, it's basically, it's going to sit as flat as the surface is flat, uh, provided there's not a severe warp. But it's in really good shape. I'm happy with it. And I will be back when I show you uh, what it looks like after I've stripped it and before I season it. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, give me a thumb up if you like to see a video like this. And uh, I'm trying to pick up some more Griswold. Uh, number seven is number six, number four, um, number nine, number 11, and up. Uh, the larger sizes are increasingly hard to find, and the number four, the number six, and seven are a little hard to find. I've only found one or two, like this one. I have one, but it's a small logo, but I use it, you know, when I make omelets. But I really like the Griswold. It's light, it's easy to handle, and that's going to make a very nice cooker. So at any rate, um, thanks again for watching and go make it a great day.